Okay, in this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use a resistor within the Simulink and how to measure the voltages around the resistor and also how to measure the current flowing through it. So, for it, first of all, you need to go to library browser. In view, you can see this is a library browser. Click on it. Now you got library browser. So first of all, you need to take the DC voltage source, run it, and you need to take this one, this P spice one DC voltage source, and click on it to untitled one. Then you need to take ground and check it okay so wait you need to write ground and press enter or press this search button now you can choose this one a block to model untitled also you need to take voltage sensor voltage sensor right click on it and add block to untitled one then you need current sensor sorry double click on it and here you just find this current sensor then you need display to display the voltage and current so this is our display it block to one title also you need one solver con configure solver configure a mod a model because this is very essential solver configuration module because this is very essential for the our circuit to operate now we will take this display here and current sensor here voltage sensor here ground here and dc voltage source okay now we have left with the resistor so we need to write resistor here or e s i s t o r and okay now you can get this one right click on it and it block to model untitled now do one thing that okay wait uh, first uh, we, uh, we we need to zoom it okay now this is dc voltage source and this is resistor so we will right click on it and we will rotate and flick so we will rotate it clockwise now positive and must be connected with the positive end of dc with the positive end of dc voltage source okay we have connected this thing also one thing that you need to connect a solver configuration with this also the ground with the negative of the DC voltage source here it is not okay no problem wait no problem wait. okay okay now right click on it and delete it out and uh, right click on it and attach the okay wait wait you need to take one another ground so go to library browser and we will write here ground now we can take electrical reference ground okay not this one not this simple one so so electrical reference ground so it will work for us so connect it like this and also solver configure module like this 
now what about this voltage sensor this voltage sensor module must be connected across the resistor to sense the voltage also we need to connect okay wait okay right click uh, click on it and delete it out wait because it is doing some sort of okay no problem at all now connect this display with date of the output of the voltage sensor but it is not going to work because we need one another module that is called as the ps2 physical signal to p spice uh, sorry ps that is physical signal to Simulink signal conversion. Okay, then okay. Now we will right click on it and we will delete it out. Now what we will do that we will connect. We will connect this with this. Okay, now this and this with this. Okay, and also this with this one. Okay, now our circuit is okay. Now also place the current sensor in series just like we, we place the voltage sensor in parallel so current sensor must be in must be in series so we have to place it like that okay and this and this so now it is in series and uh, okay now we will search for PS2 PS2S. Okay, this this one, this block that is physical signal to, because display cannot display uh, cannot take value directly from these current sensors and all these. You, you we, we must need to first convert these values into that is the physical signal values into simulant type values. Okay, now now we will yeah like this okay. We have converted again. We will copy this block. Control C, Control V, and like this. Okay. Now we will. Okay. Now. Okay. Like this one. Now, the uh, the upper one is representing what is called as the voltage, and the lower one is representing the current. So, okay, now it's okay. Now we will give the value to DC voltage source. We will just give it to 12 volt and uh, to resistor. It is mentioned 1 ohm, but we will mention 4 ohm. So, 12 by 4 is our current. Sorry, yeah. So, 12 by 4, that is 3 ampere, is our current, and 12 volt is our voltage because we know that all the voltages that will rise within the circuit must be dropped within the same circuit that is whatsoever will, will rise by dc voltage source all voltages must be dropped within the resistor so now with the help of this you can measure voltage and current across the resistor inside the simulink so hopefully uh, you got the concept so thanks for watching this video tutorial